All right, hello again. And take number two for MOA Live Talks today. Not sure what happened. Screen went weird. Um, so what we're I'm Katie, with the Museum of Ontario Archaeology. And what I'm talking about today is something called stratigraphy. And stratigraphy is a principle that archaeology has borrowed from uh, geology, which is essentially uh, a study of how the Earth's layers have formed over time. Um, those are big... Uh, geological events that can be very quick like an earthquake or a volcano or um, something that's very slow like erosion and different things like that um, those same sort of catastrophic earth geological events can affect the human stratigraphy as well so the the layers of human activity um, but it, humans also play a huge role in the types of layers that we find. So stratigraphy is really just a fancy Latin based word for layers. And it's those layers that form in the ground over time. And they form for trackable reasons. And we can use those layers to peel back history. Um, you can think of it like an onion or a tree, the tree rings. Um, in dendrochronology, which is how we use trees to date things. Um, but those tree rings, they start at the middle and they build their way out. So the ones on the outside are the new rings, while the ones on the inside are from that very early point of the tree. So the earth and the ground that we live in and stand on and dig into when we're doing archaeology works in relatively the same way. So I'm going to tilt us down because I have an analogy that we love to use in archaeology, which is for a garbage can. Um, and garbage cans, they work very similarly to the earth with us on them. We leave things behind and those are the artifacts, the material culture that we are looking for. So I'm going to tilt us down and we'll find my garbage can here. So this is an empty garbage can. Let's see, this is the base, this is the top. And we can think of this as an archeological site that has not been uh, lived on before. There's been no habitation there. So there's nothing of a human nature to find. But on a Monday of our garbage can's existence, we toss things in the garbage can. And the, the items drop down to the bottom because they are uh, propelled there by gravity. So things on Earth settle to the ground. They settle to the bottom of things because of gravity. And gravity allows us, or is one of the parts, of, uh, one of the reasons why this works. The Ooh. And the, the items ah. drop down to the bottom. Today. There we go. Um, so now I can see you guys too. So there's our Monday layer of garbage and I am going to add in so we remember that that is Monday. It took a lot of effort to try and write these things backwards and upside down and weird. It's very confusing. All right, so our Monday layer of garbage, it stays there. The garbage can has not been emptied. Um, people are still tossing garbage into it on Tuesday so Tuesday's layer of garbage will form on top of Monday's. So we have Monday's layer of garbage and Tuesday's layer of garbage. And I'm gonna label that one too. So there is Tuesday's. And they're different colors because in the ground, the layers of soil that all these artifacts are trapped in, artifacts from Monday, for example, artifacts from Tuesday, they end up being different colors. And the colors of these layers are determined by what formed them. So a very dark black layer could uh, may have been formed by um, a fire, an ash pit, a fire pit, um, either a purposeful fire or an accidental fire, or um, it could be done through erosion, which might end up having lots of different um, elements from the soil that are eroding along with it. So red would have a lot of iron, uh, green soil would have a lot of malachite and different um, things like that. Um, so keeping with our garbage can analogy, on Wednesday, people come into the space with this garbage can and they begin to put all of the garbage from Wednesday into the garbage can. Tuesdays and Mondays layers are still there 
and they still contain the artifacts from those days, the, el or the items that people threw away on those days. And so here's our Wednesday label. I think my S's are backwards still, but I think we can read it. Um, so Wednesday, I've made this little bump up here. Maybe something bigger happened on Wednesday. We have a big cake box, there's a big party, and we end up having a slightly less than flat and even layer. And then on Thursday, Wednesdays, Tuesdays, and Mondays layers of garbage are still there. And Thursday's layer of garbage lands and fills in that space. Again, gravity has pushed it to fill in that bump that Wednesday left behind. And here is Thursday's label. So now we have Thursday's layer of garbage. And fin um, finally, but not least, we have Fridays, which we're gonna put right on top there. Uh, it sits on top of Thursday's and on top of Wednesday's garbage. And here is the Friday. So we now we have Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, and Monday's layers of garbage. This is a five day time frame. If we were to begin excavating, we are up here at the top and we would take out the Friday layer first. Um, its color is a little bit different. The items have a different nature to them or in uh, an archeological context, the soil would be a different color and we would be able to see that change in color soil as we approached Thursday's layer. So we know when these changes occur. Um, all of the items that we find in Friday's layer have been there since Friday, but all of the items in Monday's layer, and I'm actually gonna add in some little items here. So here's some little black squares which represent archeological artifacts. We don't know too much about them. In fact, we have no idea what they are. They're just little black squares, but we can begin to tell some things about them even though we don't know what they are. So we do know that this one here down in Monday is the oldest of all of the artifacts that we have represented here in this garbage can. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that are younger than it. it they have all been here in this uh, grouping together a shorter amount of time. The Friday artifacts, which we have two, are younger than all of the artifacts in the layers below it. And if we can identify a date for one of them, let's say this one here was a coin, this one right here, from Wednesday, and that coin was from 1855, we know that that coin couldn't have been buried in the ground any earlier than 1855 because that's when it was made. So everything in this layer cannot be older than that. Um, so things from here up, no later than 1855. We don't know the exact dates for all of these things, except for that coin's production, we know. Um, and so that's how we begin to find dates for these layers. So we have an 1850, maybe this is an 1870 coin. That's gonna put it to 1870. So it depends on those artifacts that we find in it. But we can say absolutely that this artifact on Monday is younger than all the artifacts that are above it and all of these layers that formed later on. And these two Friday artifacts right at the top are younger than all the ones below it. And that's the principle of the law the law of superposition, which is what we've borrowed from geology. And that is that the stuff on top is usually younger than the stuff on the bottom. And I'm gonna pop us back up here. So that is the basic principle of how archeology span digs down into the earth. We assume based on the law of how the earth forms layers that the stuff on the top is younger than the stuff on the bottom. And as we dig down, we can see those little changes of things happening. And those layers might be really thin they could also be very, very deep. Um, and the activity that caused them can also tell us whether they were formed quickly or whether they were formed slowly. So all the artifacts within one single layer are sort of trapped within a context that puts them together. They are some way associated with each other. My, my, I was drawing all these 
words onto these and I've gotten black ink all over my finger. Um, so, but that is the basic principle of archaeology is the law of superposition. The things that are older are on the bottom and the things that are newer are on the top. And that's what we use to help us date the archaeological artifacts that we find in the ground. So thank you very much for joining us today. And tomorrow afternoon, uh, Heather will be doing a, a tour of our uh, Who Cares About Archaeology exhibit. Um, and tomorrow morning, I will be making... I've forgotten. Oh my gosh. What are we making? One of these have it. What rots and what doesn't? That's right. So we're going to talk. I have some experiments that I've been working on to show us things that are rotting and things that are not. So I will see that tomorrow morning and Heather will be with you tomorrow afternoon. So bye-bye.